So when did you meet Tim, and how did that come about? How did you cross well, paths? Tim, Tim was a Blue Cross rep, and I really didn't know him. And uh, he asked me to have lunch. And him and uh, a, a young lady said they thought they might want to come to work for me. And I remember that lunch. And about three days later, Tim gave me a typewritten proposal, about four or five pages. I still have it. And here's what he thought he could do for me. And I was so blown away that anybody would do a proposal like that we uh, talked about it and set it up and uh, we started. All right, and you know, the reason I sought Pat out is uh, Pat had carved himself out as a benefit specialist where uh, life insurance agents, they would dabble in group insurance as extra income. Uh, Pat really defined us as a employee benefits shop. Uh, that's what we did and uh, I was in a meeting with him at Stouter Memorial Hospital, and honestly, I was just captivated. Oh, wow. By his command of the room, and uh, honestly, I wanted to be like your dad. Yeah. And Tim, one of the things, too, that I've always, uh, so a UD grad, you're kind of a UD fan, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but, you know, so, so you graduate from UD. What, like, how did you get into, uh, uh, into the insurance business with the blues? Well, this will not surprise anybody, but right out of school, it was a bad economy. It was 1981, uh, 16, 18% interest rates. Well, lo and behold, I get a job at NCR selling computers. <laughs> so you guys, do you guys think I should be selling computers? Uh, so that was, uh, that just did not go well. I, I did not like it. Uh, and, uh, and this is uh, really something because there's such a link here because Bob Sutman, Mike's dad, who had passed away, he, I interviewed with him, ended up getting an interview with Blue Cross Blue Shield. I didn't know much about it, but Bob Sutman was my first boss. <laughs> and the linkage here is, you know, we actually, when Bob retired from Blue Cross, we actually had him on our team for a while until he was ready to retire in full. And then Mike, we hired Mike right out of college and, uh, uh, Mike, Mike's uh, sister, Lori, who passed away, yeah. uh, was actually with us before Mike was. So Yeah, I remember uh, my uh, sister had graduated a couple years ahead of me when I was a senior in college, and I remember the story my dad telling that he talked to Pat, and he said, uh, my daughter has a job, but she doesn't have a career. If you ever need anybody, I I'd like to introduce you to her. And then... Uh, Probably six or eight months later, I was getting ready to graduate, and my dad had asked me, do you have any idea what you're going to do besides move back home? And I, I said, no, I don't. And he said, well, let me introduce you to somebody. I said, I don't know what you'll think of the business, but you ought to start with some good people. Uh, and I had had uh, you know, the stories around our kitchen table with my sister telling about the wonderful things that Pat McGowan had done for her made it really easy.